So here is the Rebel compression plug. Um, this is the piece that a lot of people have been having issues getting installed properly and most likely is the reason why you are having a, um, a wobbly stem. Um, the issue with mine was it was rocking back and forth whenever I uh, pressed on the front brakes. So practically these are a little bit different but these are supposed to be a lot better. The way they were supposed to work is the issue that I was having is I was tightening, tightening this plug um, as is on the stem and that's actually incorrect. You actually have to remove this screw. The screw has to completely come off and remove the cap and there's actually another screw here that you have to insert this in the stem hole, tighten it these rings will expand and once they're expanded they're gonna hold into the stem into the stem tube um, once that happens all you're gonna do is put your cap on put your screw tighten it up and then this guy is uh, it's already expanded inside the, the tube so what's gonna happen this guy is gonna compress it and it's gonna tighten it up real nice uh, my issue was that I had never used one of these and then this screw was it had a lot of lube um, and because of the grease I couldn't see that there was actually a screw in there so that was my issue so I'll show you now how to uh, get it properly seated and installed in the bike so the tools we're gonna use it's a, um, it's a wrench and then we're going to use uh, a six because that's the, um, um, the, the, um, the amount of pressure that is actually requesting for a max. The other tool we're going to use The other tool we're gonna, the other tool we're gonna use, it's a Allen wrench number six and an Allen wrench number five. So, what we'll be doing first is we're gonna remove the screw, like I said. Put that guy here. We're going to loosen this guy up so you can fit it in. Nice and loose. You're gonna start tightening it up little by little. Until it has a little bit of a grip. Once it has a little bit of a grip, you're gonna tighten this guy up. Let me hold that wheel. You're gonna tighten it up. So once it's tight, it should be good. Then you're gonna take your your cap and your uh, other screw. We will put this guy in here. And we will tighten this guy as well. Tighten this guy up and you'll feel it like once you have your hand here you'll feel um, this whole section of the bike you'll feel it start compressing and then once we have that what we're gonna do is the camera back a little bit
gun at the top of the bike. Sorry about all the pop pop. It's actually a bubble wrap to have on the floor. So my white screen doesn't get um, all dirty. Now I'm just gonna make sure that the that my wheel and handlebar is straight. Okay, that looks perfectly straight. Then we're gonna tighten these guys up. You're gonna tighten in a little bit at a time. So you wanna get equal compression on both ends. Back in this end. The other one. Make sure it's straight, yep. Back in the other one. Doing this until you start hearing the clicks. Once you hear the click, then it's tight enough to test it. Let's hold your front brakes, and as you can see, no wobble, no creaks. It's perfect. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, it definitely had my. It was definitely had me scratching my head. I couldn't figure it out. Um, but after watching a ton of videos on YouTube, um, I came back down, gave it a run, and the, I ended up working out. Um, if this does not work for you, then you might have some other issues um, that you might have to contact Rivel. But hopefully it helps. Um, just make sure you guys subscribe and hit like. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Keep pedaling.